Welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak. I'm gonna take a second and show you these like, a couple of unique ways to mount things, mount your animals and your trophies. When I did a scouting video, I actually did it showing this table that was in the background here behind me, and I got a lot of people asking me, hey, tell me more about those mounts, how are you doing those antlers, that kind of thing. So what you can see here is I don't have a very big hutch in our, and this is kind of like what we call our hunting room. It's the one of the, it's a family room that uh, we don't sit in or go into as far as no TVs or nothing like that. We kind of use it as our, our hunting room, we call it. But as you can see, I don't have a lot of room on this bench that's here. Um, and I have, you know, there's three, six, seven, or seven sets of antlers, and I could probably fit another six or seven on here if I wanted to, but it's just a nice way to display this stuff. Imagine how much, if I was mounting every one of these, how much seven different uh, heads on the walls would take up. I don't have that kind of wall space in my house. So this gives us another unique kind of thing. And give you an example of these, um, like what it is basically is all I'm doing is I'm taking that set of antlers and when I cut it off that animal, I'm cutting it with a hacksaw and just doing a straight down cut right on there just like that, right off like you would, cutting that back plate right off where you at, there you are. And then on the bottom, I cut the bottom flat down here too, right down on this side, and then I just hit that with my grinder and even it out, and then I glue it right to this piece of wood. Now what you have on here is this is some white Kills paint. Kills paint, I do it to everything, I've been doing it forever, but what it does is it uh, it's antibacterial, antimicrobial, it kills all bacteria and stuff, so you never worry about grease or anything like that coming through. Um, obviously, you still want to, you know, uh, use Dawn dish soap when you're boiling it to keep that stuff away. But sweet, quick, and simple to be able to cut that off, peel the, the hide off of here, scoop the brain and stuff out, so and then uh, boil this clean, and then uh, just shape it and mount it on it. And it gives you a really unique kind of a mount that you can display anywhere. We have these. These are ones here, but we have them. Every room of my house has got these used as decoration set up someplace in them. Uh, they're in the living room. They're in the bedroom. They're, you know, they're, they're ones even in the bathroom. I mean, we they're just a real nice mount to be able to set any place you want and take up very little space. Uh, it kind of goes to show you, but it's neat. You can set these any place you want to put them at. As an example, too, to show you kind of how well they age, this one is from the first buck that I ever killed right here. This is the same thing. It's sealed with that white kills on there, so it does a great job. A little dusty, sorry. Um, but uh, but basically, same exact thing. This is from 1999 is when I am killing this deer. So you're looking, 17-year-old mount right there, um, and it looks as good as the day I did it, and it's, like I said, it's portable. You can put them any place you want to set them at. So it makes for a really nice option to be able to uh, display anything you want, anywhere you want, and have that kind of variety. Now there's some other neat things in here too that I'll show you. Um, I'm gonna kind of, for the sake of camera shake, I'll reset and then I'll bring you in and show you those. Now here's something neat you can do with your smaller antlers that you have. Um, this here, this little four point, all I did is I took these antlers and I cut them right off on the ends. I just cut them off with a hacksaw. I wrapped a piece of leather cord right around them like that to make it simple. And then you can hang them any place you want to hang them at. You can put them on a, a doorknob, a dresser knob, hang them on a wall that way. Uh, they just make a real simple, uh, you know, you just take it and, and hang them wherever you want to hang them at. They're just a nice way to be able to display them. And again, not take up a ton of wall space on there you can put them anywhere you want do anything you want to with them so again just looking for simple options to be able to use them and not eat up your wall space now here's two unique ways that I used to mount uh, you know from two wild boar hunts that I went on uh, basically that bottom one is the two lower cutters out of a wild boar and uh, the broadhead I used to kill it with on the top is the bottom cutters and two of the top cutters and uh, you, so basically his tusks and uh, the broadhead that's mounted on there. Simple, doesn't take up a lot of wall space. Imagine again how quickly you'd run out of space if you were mounting all these animal heads and things like that too. It gives you something to do with the parts of them, be able to display them for the memory aspect. Same with these on the back of them. They have all the details of each of those hunts. Makes it really nice and simple way to be able to display your trophies without eating up tons of wall space. Now here's another, this is one of my wife's ideas, that's one of the antlers that, uh, um, off of another deer, you know, one of the deer I killed, we just basically took to cut the antlers off right at the base and we used them, we got the other antler in another spot being used for decoration, but uh, that's a skull that I found in the woods one time while I was hunting, a doe skull, 
And uh, basically we just took that. We took some leaves and we got an old barrel here in, in the room next to the couch. We used it as an end table and she just kind of set it up or, you know, set it all up with some of these uh, accessories on there like that. Just a way to basically incorporate these items into part of the decor without having to, you know, get too crazy on eating up wall space. Wall space is a premium in 99% of the houses and uh, you start running out of options and we're, I, I don't want to have a big, you know, I don't want to have a dedicated trophy room where I got to have every inch of every part of the wall completely covered I don't have that kind of luxury or that kind of space available to me so these give me kind of a different way to be able to display these things have them right in front of my face so as I walk by and see them the memories immediately jump back to me which is the whole purpose of all of this stuff it gives me that same kind of gratification and that same uh, uh, you know jump back into time to remember it every time I see it yet doesn't require tremendous amounts of money or tremendous amounts of wall space now here's just a quick once over again on some of these bases so you can kind of see them on there. Uh, how simple they are. You do, like I said, it doesn't need, uh, you know, it's not rocket science or precision. You can see that this one here is cut different than this one is. This one's cut a little different. Uh, that one you can't really see very well back there. But it's basically, there is no uh, rhyme or reason or perfect. You know, this one here you can see is cut a lot higher up on this one than it is. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just basically getting to mount. The first one I ever did, I actually did all that rounding and everything. I did that with a file and sandpaper all those years ago. Um, but it doesn't have to be uh, too crazy. This one works okay, but that's the one that keeps coming off every once in a while if we move it too much and I got to re-glue it. So I actually like the flat side, you know, running them flat like this where you got a good spot where you can glue. I actually glue every one of these down with Gorilla Glue or Fletch Tight. Either one works perfect and holds them real well, except for, like I said, that rounded one can be a little bit of a chore. It doesn't have the surface area. But just a real simple, easy way to be able to display a bunch of your, uh, your antler art and your antlers and, you know, your trophies and stuff without having to give up that wall space. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with more stuff soon. Talk to you later. Bye.